Okay, this video is going to be for the VW Beetle, and it's going to be placement of optional rear speakers. If you have a monsoon or a regular stereo and a Beetle, there are some limitations to the types of speakers you can put in the bottom corner of the front wall. Andy has a fantastic, not only talking about the limitations of the speakers, but the types and measurements that will clear all of the interior trim pieces. Take it away, Andy. So we'll start with the placement. What we have is your, this is your front bed wall. Easy reference is the, is the Smith. This is the side that goes towards the bed, towards the rear of the car. So this is gonna be the back wall of the cab. All right, so that was just trying to get us oriented on what we're looking at. So now what we need to do is figure out where I can cut a hole to put a speaker that's not gonna A, show in the bed, B, conflict with the step side that's actually gonna be behind, behind this section. So this is just my little measurement technique. It's fairly simple to help you find a spot that is not conflict, not, not conflicted. Your front bed wall comes with pierces for where you're gonna drill out to bolt in the bed sides that will be going down in this perspective. So the first step is to get this uh, reference line right across those, those bolt holes. The now the trick is that's actually gonna be the bed wall, and we have a flange that we need to worry about. The flange is about three quarters of an inch. I allow one inch just to make sure I have plenty of clearance. So I get me a reference point one inch towards the side of the car. And this is actually the line that I'm gonna use. So now we have our left to right placement that we're clearing. We're not putting a screw into the bed that will be visible from behind the car. Now we need to get our vertical placement. Using a square, I just happen to have this one. It could be a, a sheet of paper. Here, look at this. We could use this. To clear the, the step side, we need to come down two inches from this pierce that already exists in your bed wall. So we'll get us a little reference mark there. And all I'm doing is using something that's pretty close to square to get me a reference line, to get us a reference line across here. So now I know my area that I'm clear to cut a speaker hole. So in this case, we're using a four by six. This is the template that came with the speakers. This is a monsoon car, so this has to be a two ohm speaker. All I do is place this template tangent at the top right because that's this way is the top and that's the center so I have a point here and here and I trace my speaker hole profile provided with the speaker it is amazing how slightly different same size speakers can be from different manufacturers so I advocate using the one for your speakers this particular speaker comes with a extra little flange for mounting so you could use you could use that different ways to go. If you are using a different speaker, you wanna use something bigger, hey, I want a little more thump, I want something bigger, you have some other issues to work out, we'll get to in a sec, but the key when you're drawing your template is don't come above that or you're gonna be running into the back of the step side, so that point is critical here, and that point is critical, because if you drill to that side, you're going into the bed, where it'll be visible from outside the car. And above this, you're gonna have conflict with the step side. And by the way, again, this dimension was two inches below that center pierce. So in the event that you wanna go with a different speaker, the point is to use your template for that tangent and that tangent to get those two points. Excellent. Okay, so just because we're here, this is a rough cut B-pillar cover that when you get to that point in your car, this is actually gonna be sitting right about here in the car. So the reason that I really like these four by sixes and Mark and I have had a ton of discussion about different speaker options, the beauty of that is you have no conflict with this B-pillar cover when you go to put it in. If you are gonna go with a five and a quarter, so here's a speaker cover from a five and a quarter uh, speaker, you run into this conflict. So 
Of course, you had to go tangent to those two lines for your speaker hole. Now, when you go to mount this, you have this conflict. Not a big deal. You can trim either the speaker cover or the B-pillar cover. But I personally, and Mark and I have discussed this, this is just such a clean install. It's so easy. And the size of the cab, a 4x6 speaker, is plenty of uh, volume punch what whatever what the right is it, 150 term. 200 watts with the monsoon especially you've got a small little area yeah you're gonna your ears will be bleeding one way or the other this, right? so. these little four by sixes and and these are the the two on ones again it's 120 watt capable and so 200 watts out of the amp four ways no, you know, you're way 50 amps you're a way piece, good. so Perfect. Uh, it works out really well so that works out pretty cleanly you can use different speaker covers if you want if you don't like that particular one no big deal but while we're here, having the brain trust, we have another really cool little piece. So that wraps up the speaker placement. All right, but while we're talking about this B-pillar cover, when you trim this, so this is the rough cut. You're gonna end up the, the cutting this cover. further in. Give you the, the full. This is what it used to look like in the car. You've seen that, that comes off. This we're gonna get rid of, but wait. <laughs> but wait, there's more. You actually need about two inches here. So once it's at the final cut, you end up with this little divot. Yeah, it's kind of unsightly. So how can we fill that and make it look cool? Carl wants you to have, right, right. We have pieces that we're gonna throw away anyway. We wanna match the grain and the color of the interior of the car and fill that gap. So what do we, what do we make that from? We make it from obtainium. And we get it <laughs> from this piece that we're gonna throw away anyway. We cut this piece out. We give it to Andy. He loves it, and he puts it oh, right beautiful. in the Boom. spot that it has to go. Two right dots of adhesive, the right color, matches. And you're trimming good. this off anyway to fit the against the wall. So this so line here's a rough cut, right? So we're gonna cut here, and this finished, this whole finished thing goes up against the black carpet on the rear wall. Fantastic. All free. If you don't, ah, oh, that's too much black for me. Oh, I really like that gray leather. I wish it was red all the way down. And cut it right and out You of have here. plenty of other options that are very similar. Right. You could cut it out of this red plastic so that the color matches. You could cut it out of this uh, kind of, I'm not sure if that's actually leather or vinyl. Pleather. But, but you could cut that same dimension right here, peel that out, glue that on. Tons of options, whatever you want to do. Oh yeah. I, I think that's about it. The detail, uh, the difference is between a car that's perfect that people just go crazy. And you've seen this with your Mark V Jetta and your Charger. The difference between the cars that are just cha-ching is, is nothing. I mean, it, 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 it's all right in front of you. So making a car, I mean, I've been guilty of making a car that I just got together. I didn't even put the carpet on the back and I took off driving because I wanted to drive. It doesn't take, most of us building these Beetles for our families, whatever, you have time. It's all winter, or it's a project, whatever. It's pretty easy to do a, a top-notch job, even as a rookie. And, uh, take all the pieces that you took apart <laughs> and throw them in a big pile in the corner of the garage and don't throw them away till you're done because all these free things can be used. So radio, interior trim, uh, uh, it's all, it's your car, you can do it how you want. We're here to just give you ideas. But remember, Monsoon, two ohm speakers, regular non-Monsoon, four ohm speakers, and state of four by six. You know, the smaller speakers will pay dividends. If you need the bigger ones, like Andy said, you're gonna be trimming into this thing and hogging it out a little bit. You can do it, but we wanted to give you that information before you start cutting. Make it, make it easy on yourself. We you, you <laughs> engineered all For the God's sizes. Sakes, man. It works, it sounds great. Why waste the time? You already wasted hours figuring this out. There you go. So from Tiverton, Rhode Island, that's our stereo tip for the day.